All right, happy Wednesday, you guys. I'm super happy to have you with me, and we are going to today be focused on our upper body. So these reformer sessions are focused on strength and uh, getting a little bit of that burn. So we won't be doing a circuit, but we're just going to be kind of um, capping on a certain sort of muscle group or area until we just really heat it up really well. All right, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you. I'll keep my eyes on the chat if I can. Okay, <laughs> all right, so yeah, just refresh your page if you can't see anything on your screen, and then let's get started, all right? So today we are using the reformer, no props, nothing else, we won't even need our box, and we are mainly gonna work on one red spring. So depending on the reformer you have, that will be a heavy spring, so you wanna load up with one heavy, heavy spring. I've got the foot bar in the middle position. It can be down if you like, but we will be using it in this position later so if you want to just set it to that you won't have to fix it up later okay let's start by swinging our legs up and over the headrest make sure you have some carriage behind you okay because we're going to roll down and these sessions are short so i'm not going to focus too much on a warm-up we're going to try and get right into it so reaching your hands into the straps start with your arms long if they're slack in the straps that's okay to roll it back and then we're gonna roll it right back up and lift the spine up tall. You can cross your legs here, readjust if you need to. And here we go, we tuck and roll back. And then we roll forward just to the shoulders over the hips and then restack the spine nice and tall. Here we go, tucking the tail again. <sighs> scooping that low belly, rolling it back. I'm gonna come down on my sacrum here, but my waistband is lifted. We're gonna bicep curl in and reach, and in and reach, that's it. Notice that I'm trying to keep my elbows the same height as my shoulders. So I'm not pulling in this way. I'm keeping those upper arms pretty still as the forearms open and close. You guys keep going, I forgot to set my little timer because otherwise I'll just take us for an hour session real easy. <laughs> I totally lose track of time once I get into it. All right, we'll take this for, let's go eight and seven, six. Keep scooping that low belly, pulling in for five and four and three and two. On one, we hold these forearms perpendicular to the floor, and we're gonna lift the elbows up and down. This time we pull them down towards the waistband, going down and up. Good, and up, down, up. So the carriage moves a little bit, that's okay. Sometimes we can stay in a smaller range and the carriage won't move at all. Here I'm kind of going for the full extension of my arms reaching up but really think of a lift of the elbows and you want to keep those forearms parallel or flush to the wall in front of you lift up and down let's take it for five and four hopefully you're starting to feel some heat already for three and two maybe it's just me <laughs> for one hold your elbows into your waistband here we're going to reach the arms back long by your ears and pull them back to your waistband. We go for 10 like that. We go nine and eight, seven and six. Try and really knit your whole midline together here. Staying zipped up for five and four and three for two, and one, hold the arms up, lift the spine up nice and tall, and reach your arms long. We're gonna do that for six. Start with your elbows in close to your waistband. We roll it back. As we extend the arms up long by the ears, hold the arms up as you re-lift the spine to nice and straight and tall, and reach your arms forward. Here we go. We scoop and round back. Reach back long and now lift up tall. Good. And four more. Good. Lift up tall. This is really strong for those the backs of those shoulders. And I'm already 
forgetting as I talk to you. I'm losing my count. Here we go for two more. Hopefully that's accurate. And one more. Lift up nice and straight and tall and reach the arms down towards the floor. We're gonna pull the outside edge of your hands back to the foot bar behind you as you keep the spine lifting tall, reaching through the crown of the head. So try to expand your chest here and keep lifting. Careful not to lean back as you press those arms back. So again, we're really targeting upper body, backs of shoulders, upper back, this will help us to have a nice open heart and chest. That's it. Take it for six and five, for four and three and two and one. Bring your elbows in tight to your waistband. Thumbs are up. Keep the elbows close to you. I'm gonna rotate out and in. This is much smaller of a movement and range. We're targeting that rotator cuff. Make sure you keep those thumbs up. That's it. And those elbows in towards your sides. So we really get into that rotator cuff. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? I'm looking over at the computer like you're over there. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go for four and three and two. One more, you've got it. Do your little shake out if you need it. Here we go. Thumbs are up, arms are long and straight right in front of the chest. We pull wide to a T and reach forward. On this one, you're gonna go forward, but right where my carriage closes, here for me, just because of how my straps, the length of my straps, I'm gonna lose um, tension. So I'm gonna stay in tension the whole time here. Whew. I hope you're feeling that burn in the back of your shoulders. That's it. Let's go for eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Oh, I actually need a little bit of a shake out here. So sorry if you um, are ready to keep on going with that one. All right, we're gonna go right back into it, but we're gonna draw an X with our arms. You're gonna scoop your belly, tip your tail underneath you, and look down at the hand. Look at the hand that goes down, is what I wanna say. So you're drawing an X, pulling from the backs of those shoulders, small scoop, of the belly, spine is, lower back is rounded underneath you, tucked underneath you as you pull. Try and keep your arms straight so that pull is coming from the backs of your shoulders and not from a bend of the arms with your biceps, like I just did there, okay? We take it for four and three each side. No cheating. Here we go for two more. One more. Oh, you've got it. Roll all the way up. Those were beautiful. All right, you can hang up your straps here. You're going to spin around and you can either stay seated and you can be in a crisscross position facing forward. I am going to do this on my knees with my feet back against my shoulder rests. Totally up to you. Grab your straps again into your hands. Lift your hips up over your knees. Make sure you're really pushing forward with the glutes. And we're gonna bring it into a serve, a tray. We're gonna reach forward and open. Close and tuck. Forward, open, close and tuck. Glutes are strong here. Your core is pulling up and in. If you've chosen to be in this lifted position, that's part of your stability. So you don't pitch nose forward down into your springs. At any time, you guys could please feel free to modify. Drop your spring down if you need to. Take a water break. <laughs> Make this your workout, even though you're doing it with me. Hop back in if you take a little pause. 
and bend it in. Bring your hands just in front of your forehead. Whew, take a little breath. Here we go. We're gonna lift the hips and reach the arms up and forward. And we go down and up and down and up. That's it. Really press those feet back against your shoulder rests and you'll feel your hamstrings and your glutes behind you as you lift up and out. Use your out breath, drawing your ribs down towards the fronts of your hips and that will help you find the strength to extend the arms using the whole body. Let's take it for four and three for two and one and bend it all the way in. Whew, take a little breath break, I'm going quick. So we've got one more thing up here. We're gonna do our hug a tree, lift it again, or if you wanna sit down, you can do that. Cross your legs in front of you. Take an inhale. Whew, it's probably me who has to catch my breath because I'm talking and using it for my words. Lifting up, arms around and forward. So like you're hugging around a big fit ball here. All right, those are pretty big. So you wanna make a nice circle with the arms. We're gonna take it for six. And five. Four. Three. Good job, you guys. For two more. Last one and sit it all the way down. Oh, you get a little shake out. Grab a water break if you need one while I'm just resituating and finding my breath. All right, you're going to be seated with your feet in front of you and we're gonna have our hands on the shoulder rests behind us. Stay on that one red spring, okay? Try it first and then if you need to modify you are more than welcome to do so. All right, my shoulders are like, I don't wanna do any more. <laughs> that was really quick. Okay, how to burn out your arms super quick in five minutes. Okay, so I am just gonna adjust my mic box. I don't have space for my arm there. So your, arm, your hands go to the top of your shoulder rests, bring your feet onto your foot bar, and I'm just going on my arches. My feet are about a fist width apart. From here, try and keep your carriage closed. You're gonna tricep press, bend down and up. Down and up. We take it for three more. And two. And one. Hold the arms straight here. Now send your knees forward and lift your hips. And then lower your hips back down. We go for four. And three. And two and one. We come here, we're gonna push the carriage back, straighten the legs, lift the hips, and pull it in, keeping the legs straight. Now we push back with the arms as we lift the hips for three, and two, and one. Pull it in, sit it down. You guys can see that I'm shaking. Oh, take a little shake out of your shoulders and your arms, and we'll do that little series one more time. All right, hands back behind you. Take a big breath, close that carriage, and here we go. Bend down and up, down and up. Trying to keep those shoulders away from your ears. Two more, down and up, down and up. Send the knees forward, lift your hips, and lower the hips. And up, and down, and up, and down. Last two, down, last one, down. Straighten the legs, arms back, lift the hips, and pull it in. That's it. Go out and in for two, one more. Oh, my arms did not want to send the carriage back for that one. They were like, we're done. Thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> come all the way down and turn back around to face your uh, carriage. 
Let's come with your hands and knees onto the carriage. Your feet are gonna go to the wood, um, or the frame, whatever frame you have behind you, not on to the foot bar. Spread your fingers nice and broad. They're just down here on the carriage, not up on the shoulder rests. And bring your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Here we go. We're gonna hover those knees up, press out to a plank, and bend in. Just 10 like this, nice and easy, in and out. Really lift your belly up and in. Use your core as your support. That's it. Take it for five. Hopefully my count is somewhat accurate. Four. For three. For two. For one more. Bring your left hand to the center and you're gonna lift your right arm up and swivel on your feet just a little bit. We're gonna alternate back and forth. We're gonna bring the right hand back down in the center, swivel the feet carefully, and open up to your left. And keep on going. You can do this on your knees. You can also come down to your elbows, or you can even jump down to the mat if you find this a little too much, and do this on the floor, and then join us back onto the carriage. So I really want these classes to be something that no matter what level we're, we are, we can join and then just find the modification that we need to make it right for us. Yeah, and then we'll each improve little by little our own level. But the most important thing is that we can move together. All right, you guys, come back to that plank position Bend the knees in, take a breath, go back out, lower down to the elbows, bring your fists together, elbows are wide. I want your head to go down and your hips up. Let's go right back out, and I forgot on this one, you have the option of walking your feet up to that foot bar. Head down, hips up, and back to plank. We take it for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one knee down, and then the other knee down, and bring your carriage in. I think my hair got all messy from that. All right, feet go back down to your wood platform, and we're gonna do a little side version of that. Bring your left arm, forearm down onto the carriage, not against your shoulder rests. Give yourself some space, pushing out. Your top leg foot is forward, bottom foot is back onto your frame here. Here we go. We're gonna lift up into a side plank. This top hand can go on the shoulder rest, and we're gonna push away and pull under. We only go for six, and five, and four, and three, lots of shoulders, two, <laughs> and one. Bend the knees, put your hip down, and then we're just going to swivel around to the other side. Here we go, pushing out, find your legs straight, lift up, push out, and in for six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Bend your knees, hip comes down. Good job, you guys. All right, you're gonna straddle your carriage and come whoop, to seated, okay? We're gonna hold on to the straps here. Your toes are facing out, and you're gonna lift up. On this one, if you guys want more tension, it might be nice. I'm gonna choke up on my straps a little bit. We're gonna pull the elbows wide and reach. Wide and reach. Keep your squat nice and low. Wide and reach. We take it for eight and seven and six and five and four and three 
and two, and one. We hang those straps up, stay in that straddle, hands come onto the top of your shoulder rest. I'm gonna walk back a little bit. Torso comes parallel to the floor, elbows are wide. We push and pull, push and pull. We go for eight, seven, six, five, keep your torso low for four, three, two, one. Left hand behind your back, five times with the right arm by itself for five, and four. Whoo, that's hard on red. Three, <laughs> two, and one. Oh my goodness, how's my left arm gonna do? Here we go. For five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Carefully pull it in. Bring your knees against your shoulder rest. This is our last thing. You're gonna walk your carriage all the way back. Hang on to your risers here. Your butt is back. Your chest is lifted. You're gonna pull in and we pull elbows to waist and release. Let's hold it here and just pull. So we're keeping the butt low, chest high. Try not to round out through your upper back here. Think of it as a little back extension and you're pulling with those triceps. So elbows are pulling to your, towards your uh, quads, right? Instead of out to the side. Take it for six and five and four and three. Make sure you pull evenly with both arms for two and one. Bring your arms long, hands on top of the risers. Lower your chest down so your ears are in between your shoulders here. And now we're just gonna rock up and down. You can use your glutes here. Help push you forward a little bit as you pull, opening the heart and chest up and forward. And four more. And three. And two. You guys are amazing. And one. So carefully walk your carriage, whoa, all the way back. Hopefully not slamming it. Thank you so much for joining me. Whew, grab a drink of water. I'm gonna check if you've left me any comments. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what these lives are. Nice quick little spurts of energy, quick workout in your day. And if you need a little bit more of a warm up, I suggest coming to it a little warmed up, even if that's just like doing a couple jumping jacks before class, because I know we're also all short on time. But anyways, let me know how you liked it. And I am going to turn this feed off. If you're joining for the cardio session that's in just a few minutes, it's gonna be on a new feed. So in order to access that, go back to the homepage, go to that class and just click on join class or count me in, whatever it says on that little green button. I'll see you in a minute. And if not, there's a class on Friday also at 9.30. Know you guys that wherever you are in the world, if you just go onto the website, it's gonna give you the time in your time zone. So I know I had a lot of you write me and say, what time is it, where are you? <laughs> so just go ahead and look on the website and the time you see is the time that should be correct for you in your time zone. And um, that's it. Thanks for moving with me, you guys. If you liked this workout, give it a thumbs up as that helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification each time I upload a new video. If you're interested in more full-length workouts or live classes each week, come over to my website at goneadventuring.com. Join us. Let's do this together from home at any time, from anywhere. I'll see you soon. Bye.